Hi, Gene here with today's thought. Today we're going to talk about a poll, the Rasmussen poll, which is my, well, one of my go-to polls. Very briefly, I always give this summary, or usually do, uh, why I like uh, Rasmussen so much, or why it's one of my go-to polls, and for three reasons. First of all, they they don't, it's not a daily poll, but it's a three-day average, a three-day moving average, so they average three days polling results, and then they'll, they'll as each new day comes, you know, then they'll drop off the, the, the farthest day. So they'll drop off the first day, and then there'll be a new third day. So what you have is uh, you get a better idea. You have a, a more smooth result. You know, you don't have the, um, the fluctuations from day to day. And uh, that's one reason. The other one is a there, or another one is that they they poll likely voters, so not not this all adult stuff, which I um, consider the you know that that's the least reliable reliable to me. So that's another one. People who have a history of voting, who um, vote at least we're talking about presidential elections, congressional elections, and they have a history of always voting in every election, such as me. I, I vote. I, I think I've, in my entire life I've missed maybe one presidential election. So um, I, I would be a likely voter under under the, their um, their criteria. So the, the third one is that they use a, a robot voice. So you, you get a call on your phone and these days, well, if you even have a, a, a landline, it's push button, I'm sure, but most people have cell phones. But anyways, you're asked questions by a robot voice and then you push a, a button on your, uh, on your, your phone to answer the question, which uh, I probably assume is a yes or no question. So the point is, and the, well, no, it wouldn't be. It would be, let's say, if you, if you like this candidate, probably like, if you like candidate A, push one. If you like candidate B, push two. You know, well, you get the idea. Anyways, so the point is that you don't have a, a human voice to influence you. Uh, you can't know, you, you can't be influenced by bias in a human voice because it's a mechanical voice. So those are, those are three reasons. I guess I could add a fourth one, which is that the, it, it's not a network poll. I, I don't put a lot of faith in network polls. I don't care if it's a conservative network like Fox, so I don't know how conservative they are these days after they fired Tucker Carlson. And then you have ABC, NBC, all the liberals and CNN polls. But I, I don't put much faith in them regardless of which side they, uh, of the, the political aisle they're on because I, I think their, their biases somehow get into the polls because the polls are usually, let's say if it's a, if it's a Fox poll, it's not uh, Fox and they'll have an organization do the polling, it's Fox slash and the name of the pollster. So I don't know if they, what input they have in, into uh, you know formulating and, and conducting the poll. Anyways, and choosing especially the sample size. Anyways, um, the reason I bring this all up is because I've been following, I follow it every day, Monday through Friday, and then uh, occasional holiday, like Christmas, they won't do a poll. But Joe Biden's approval rating, well, first of all, since he's been, listen, maybe uh, if you go all the way back to the very beginning of his presidency, it might be different. But the last several months, uh, last year, I would think, um, you look and um, his polling numbers, they have his and, and Trump's and, you know, for when his presidency and Biden is always lower when you have sometimes uh, a day where Trump is very low. Biden has always been lower with very few exceptions. And he's always been with very few exceptions. Um, below 50%, usually in the mid 40s, sometimes the high 40s, the low 40s. The lowest he's ever been has been, uh, look at my notes here, um, 36% on February 21st. That was uh, his, his lowest and his highest was 52% February, uh, oh, I'm sorry, 36% July uh, of 2021 and then 52% uh, February 11th, that is, that's been his highest. And a few days ago, he hit 50%. And um, that that's very rare. And I was wondering what the heck, uh, you know, what was going on here, because you live by the poll, you die by the poll. That's one of my go-to polls, and I, I accept 50%. If that's what they're, they're finding, that's what they're finding. But an interesting thing happened, because the last few days, this was last week when, when that 50% appeared, but he's been going down, 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 down. I mean, way, 
Uh, he's down to 41% now in just a few days. And um, the, I said, you know, I, I just saw the lowest was 36%. He hasn't hit that yet, but the, the trend is definitely down. And I wonder um, what's happening. What I, I couldn't understand, to be honest, how he hit 50%, but to be honest, uh, I don't know. Well, I mean, I could say he's, you know, I'm a, I, you know, full disclosure, I'm conservative. He's been a lousy president, in my view, so I can understand the 36%. What I don't understand is how he could be 50% a few days ago, and now he's down to 41. That, that I don't understand. And we'll have to see whether this is a trend or not. But, uh, you know, I'll keep you uh, updated as future polls come in. But um, that's my thought for today. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, if you could su subscribe, that would be great. Look forward to hearing from you or seeing you all again. And until I do, bye.